Hello again, friends. It's me again. Today, I will show you how we can create both a header and a footer for your web page. Header and footer elements are both semantic tags. They describe their meaning to both the web browser and the developer. They help organize your content, and CSS properties can easily be applied to anything within these containers. Headers are used for introductory content at the top of your page, such as a title, a subtitle, a logo, a navigation bar, but we haven't really discussed navigation bars yet. Footers act as a container for holding concluding content at the bottom of your page, such as an author, a copyright, or some contact information like a phone number or email. All right, so let's begin. To create a header within our body, we need a pair of header tags. Then for a footer, you need a pair of footer tags. Personally, what I like to do between the header and footer tags, I'll create a pair of main tags for all of the main content within our web page. It helps with organization. We'll begin with the header though. The header element is a container for holding introductory content at the top of our page. This is where you may see a title, like an H1 header element. For our H1 header, I think welcome to pick your name or your business or organization. I'll just use my YouTube channel name. A header is a good container to hold a title for your web page. You could include a logo or a navigation bar. Navigation bars are a little tricky. We do need to know a little bit more CSS for navigation bars, but let's include some hyperlinks and make like a really basic navigation bar. A href equals, I won't set a location. It's not really necessary for this example. We'll just have a hyperlink that goes nowhere. So we have home. Let's create three more hyperlinks. Home, about us, products, and contact us. The header of your document, it also tends to be a good place to hold navigation links too. Then to make this a little more fancy, I'm going to add a horizontal rule with a self-closing HR tag. Okay, that's not bad. Another use of header and footer elements is that it makes CSS styling a little bit easier. I haven't yet shown how we can apply CSS style sheets. We're going to use a little bit of inline CSS. All I'll do is change the background dash color to be whatever color you want. I'll pick medium purple. Anything within the header, I would like to change the background color to purple. Or you could change the font or the font size, anything else. It's very helpful to put your content within a container. So within my main section, I'll include an image. I do have one ready. Feel free to follow along if you want. Within my main element, let's begin with the title for the main content. I'm going to use a smaller heading like H4. Uh, what would be a good title for the main content? Check out these cool moves. Maybe I'll use a colon. I'll include an image. We need a self-closing image tag. The source will equal the name of my file, including the extension. And it is good practice to add some alternative text. Profile pick is good. So there's my image. Then I'll add some text within a paragraph. We need a pair of P tags. I'll generate some sample text in VS Code. You can type lorem, then tab. And here is some sample text. So that is the main content of my page. Lastly, let's work on the footer. The footer is a container for holding concluding content at the bottom of your page. I'll begin with a horizontal rule because I think that looks good. Let's include some information about the author. Author, colon, type in your name. I'll add a line break after. So we have author. Then a copyright symbol. Using HTML to include the copyright symbol, you can type ampersand, copy, semicolon. So we have a copyright symbol. I'll add the text copyright reserved, then add a break. Then I'll add an email. This will be a link. We need an anchor tag. Set the href attribute to be mail to colon. Then an email address. I'll make one up. Brocode at fake.com. 
close the anchor tag. Then I need some text. Bro code at fake.com. Feel free to use your own email. I'll make my email a little bit smaller by using a pair of small tags. So enclose our hyperlink with small. There we are. And I'll change the background color too with the style attribute within the opening footer tag. I will paste that style attribute. I'll pick the same color of medium purple. All right, everybody. So those are headers and footers. They help organize your content as well as make applying CSS a little bit easier because you can target everything within the header or footer elements. And those are headers and footers in HTML.